Hello everyone. Today I am going to take up a new topic from Unit One from the language across the curriculum. Today's topic is language diversity in the context of India, multilingualism. Here in it, we will going to study about the meaning. nature and scope of multilingualism as well as importance of multilingualism first we need to understand what is diversity as we all know that india is a diverse country in terms of language culture food habits dressing and so on India has been called as tower of veritable or a museum of languages. India is a multilingual country and there are more than 1700 languages including dialects and subdialects or sublanguages which are spoken as mother tongue. These languages have sprouted from various language families. the example of some important language families are indo-aryan language family dravidian language family austroasiatic language family etc now definition of multilingualism multilingualism is the natural potential available to every normal human being rather than unusual exception given the appropriate environment two languages are as normal as two lungs this definition cook multilingualism and in this term multi means many and lingualism means languages so we can say that multilingualism is the ability of an individual to speak many languages <clears throat> it may be defined as a state or condition or an ability of either of an individual or of a society where an individual speaker or a community of speakers used to or more than two languages multilingualism arises due to globalization and a wider cultural communication multilingual person is a one who can speak more than two languages sometimes bilingual and trilingual are also comes in this line and the people those who speak several languages we call them as polyglots now we move on to the nature of multilingualism multilingualism is universal in nature most of the world's population speak more than one language and it is very common in all the nations of this world where people usually speaks two languages or more than two languages. even in india our curriculum comprises three language formula one is mother tongue another is the regional language and one is the english or the foreign language it is purely based on the needs of society obviously whatever what is the purpose of language is to communicate and we are also studying for different purposes so it is based on the needs of society it may be forced or voluntary sometimes people used to learn many languages or more than one or two languages for their own purposes or for their own wish and will but sometime it is forced if we are working somewhere or uh, maybe the people got transferred from one place to another place and where the people used to speak different language which is not our native language or the mother tongue to 
uh, establish relationship with them or to communicate with them we learn those languages uh, belongs to that particular place where we got transport it may be additive and subtractive language is a dynamic concept and which keeps on changing as we move on from one place to another so language keeps on adding some new thing into it and sometimes we also remove something from that language it is promoted or given to an individual by society obviously it is given by the society to an individual any individual doesn't have its his or her own language it is willful for example formal or professional front it is also caused due to migration of people from one place to another due to war annexation voluntary or forced etc it is spread more at social linguistic level instead of individual level now scope of multilingualism multilingualism is not just limited to a specific field or to a geographical area its scope is very wide and pluralistic this condition is found everywhere across the world and this condition is result of continuous interaction among different languages spoken people for centuries it touches every aspect of human life its scope is very large and can be studied as follows in the area of education education can be imparted to the students through multilingualism as we live in a multilingual society and curriculum includes more than two languages as a part of it three language formula is the part of our curriculum at school level personal factors we are multilingual as we speak and learn different languages our family members also speak different languages political factor our constitution provided us more than two languages to use for admission and in our constitution hindi and english two languages are provided for the political affairs or to maintain the administration but yes instead of hindi the people can use the regional languages belongs to that particular state judicial factor before independence our judicial system used various languages for its functioning like english hindi and urdu same is carried out after independence for the ease of people next is social factor society is the need of every human being and we can't survive progress and enjoy without a society society requires communication and which require language and society have more than two languages so multilingualism lingualism is the need of present society professional factor we learn languages other than our mother tongue due to professional factors our profession required to be multilingual for example like a teacher she should know multi languages for effective teaching learning process in a multilingual classroom then only she will be able to that the needs of students belongs to different language groups economic factors we learn different languages for our economic growth to do jobs to establish our business in other part of a country or in other part of the world obviously businessmen needs to use different languages to communicate the people belongs to different states or outside india in other countries so so as it is required to learn more languages now our next topic is importance of multilingualism why multilingualism is so important big 
फर्स्ट इज कॉग्नेटिव एबिलिटी बाइलिंगल हु आर हाईली प्रोफिशियंट इन टू और मोर लैंग्वेजेज आर रिपोर्टेड टू हैव इनहांस एग्जीक्यूटिव फंक्शन एंड आर बेटर एट सम आस्पेक्ट ऑफ लैंग्वेज लर्निंग कंपेयर टू मोनोलिंग्वल्स Researchers indicates that a multilingual brain is nimbler, quicker, better able to deal with ambiguities, resolve conflicts, and resist Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. For economic benefits, bilingual might have important labor market advantages over individuals, as bilingual people are able to carry out. duty that monolingual cannot such as interacting with customers who only speaks minority languages next is receptive bilingualism it is also a type of bilingualism receptive bilingual are those who have the ability to understand second language or can receive second language but one cannot speak it for whose abilities to speak it inhabited by psychological barriers for example adults migrates to the us unable to speak english as compared to their children so they use code switching code switching means to use the language you know to express yourself by using another language in which you are not much efficient sometime personality some studies have found that groups of multilingual individuals get higher average scores on test for certain personality traits such as cultural empathy open mindedness and social initiatives etc they more develop personality that's why it is also essential to make our students learn more languages it helps to enhance their personality factors next is critical thinking and decision making skills psychological research has shown that using a foreign language reduce decision making biases therefore those who speak two languages or multilingual have better critical thinking and decision making skills multilingualism within community in bangalore we have found messages written at railway station and airport in three languages english kannad and hindi at vancouver international airport we have found text in english french and chinese multilingual sign at an exit of sm mall of asia in philippines three or four languages are shown japanese mandarin chinese english and korean it is because that these languages are very popular at those areas or in these particular countries so it is also essential to use such type of sign or uh, text boards where the people can understand these languages if they do not known to the other language multilingualism between different language speakers some multilingualism a term that describes the process of swapping between languages in many cases code switching is motivated by the wish to express loyalty to more than one cultural group as for many immigrants community in the new world code switching may also function as strategy where proficiency is lacking or it requires such strategies are common in the vocabulary of one language is not very elaborated for certain fields or if the speakers have not developed proficiency in certain lexical domains as in the case of immigrant languages it also helps in computing at a large scale for example translation multilingualism in the workplace globalization has led the world to be strongly interconnected consequences of this more and more companies are trading with the foreign countries and with the countries that is a necessarily speak the same languages it also has its very importance for the music field and songs with the lyrics in multiple languages are known as macronic verses now people can sing song of different languages with the help of computer and internet thank you hope 
you are 